Good morning, everybody. Now, we are... I say we. There's no one here, but there will be. I am going to meet up with Aaron, and we had planned on a fishing trip um, for today, overnight, and then for most of tomorrow. But our original destination may be off the cars due to traffic, closed roads, etc. So let's get to Aram's and then we're going to decide where we're going to fish for the next 24 hours. So let's see. Right, I finally made it to Aram's. Here he is. That's the back of him. There he is. There he is. He's got his rods. And we have looked at what well, we looked at tides, we looked at the wind, wind and we have decided we are going to go to the whale side of the Bristol Channel. So we're going to head that way now and see if we can get some bait in the tackle shop down that way. A little bit of advice, try and get us on a couple of marks and go catch some fish. Are you looking forward to it, mate? I am looking forward to it. Excited? Yeah, it's an adventure, isn't it? It's an adventure. He's right, this is an adventure. It's all about having fun. New adventure as well, never done it. So. Yeah, exactly, new adventure. So let's go, let's go down here. Let's try and start fishing. Car on fire, yeah, car on fire. Yeah. Do you like the Prince of Wales? Never met a bloke. The Prince of Wales could be a complete. Beep. Well, we were here in Cardiff to go to the tackle shop to get some bait, but it's like bait is like going out of fashion because uh, Aram's got the quickest march on. <laughs> I mean, Christ, the when you can't get bait. bait, the quicker you can be fishing. Did you hear that? Instead of all this messing around with clicks and turns and front camera, just fish. <laughs> Right. Sour, he's sour. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Over there, angling supplies. Out across the road, so I suppose I'm better. <laughs> right, we are here in Cardiff. We're not gonna fish Cardiff, we're gonna fish closer, close by, get some information, hopefully, and then get out of fishing. So let's see what we get out of Angler's Supply there. Right, just been to Angler's Supply. Very friendly in there, aren't they, Aaron? Very, very friendly. Yeah, we've got a week's worth of uh, supply we've of worms. We've got loads of worm in the tray there. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and we are going fishing. They've put us on a couple of marks. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're not just sending us on a wild goose chase. But no, uh, let's, let's get there. We're going towards Barry now to go fishing. We are here on a beach and we are going to fish here and we're probably going to fish here for the night. Um, there, I'm here. Behind me there is Porth, Porth Kerry. don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Porth Kerry Country Park and over there in the distance is Barry at Barry Island. So we are just west of Barry. Um, that's Cold Nap Beach over that side there. There. That's Cold Nap Beach, and then we've come this side of it here. So, I think it's quite a deep beach. I'm setting up now. There. I'm going to get my rod set up and then show you what we're doing. Get some bait out. Right, so I've chucked everything in my quarter bag. Um, so it's all in here in a bit of a mess because I wanted to bring the seat as well to lounge out on tonight. So I'm going to get out a couple of rigs, get them on the rods, and then get baited up. So let's do that. So, Aram, can I pinch a mm, sandy oil off you, please? Because I've got everything else. I haven't got decent sand deal. Do you want to take that pack? 
Can I? Yeah, I've got another pack. Okay, thank you very much, mate. You're very welcome. much appreciated. All right, so here we have a nice sandy. We'll take the snout off like so. We'll take the tail off like so. I'm going to put a tiny bit of squid with that. I'll take the head off the squid. Split this up the middle. And I'm going to actually take the guts out and use that on the other bait. And I use this basically as a little bit of a wrap around that sand eel. Um, keep it straight. And so there we are. I'm using the, the squid around the sand eel. Basically, one, to keep it a bit straighter. And two, to protect the guts from... Uh, completely splitting open and going everywhere so there we go bait elastic that on like so then we go and get that on the hook right so we've got this and what i'm going to do this is big enough to pass through so i'm just going to pass it through there straight out the back like so bait elastic that tight to that hook there we go very nice and then we're going to go along the, sh the line and the bait keeping it straight getting towards the top I'm going to bring this sliding hook down and pass it through again out to the other side and then carry on wrapping that till we get to the tail sandy on squid wrapped together there two size four o's kept it straight let's clip that up and get that out so the first bait is out got a bit of sardine here what I'm going to do is sardine and squid so I'm going to do sardine top side. Take that belly off. Take that off there. Like so. And then I'm going to use the squid that I've just used the other half of. With the sand eel on the other bait. I'll wrap that on the bottom and get that on the hook. Let's wrap that up now. It's always easier to wrap it when it's uh, hanging facing uh, down like this and it's a lot easier as well when you find when you put your bait elastic bait hanging down like so I'm going to use the squid to cover the belly so I don't get too much deterioration of the bait that quick that's going to be the softest side on the sardine and the sardines are soft anyway so wrap this up nicely and then we'll get it loaded onto the hook and here we have it We've got a pulley drop a rig two six o's on there so i'm going to get a six o out of the bait there like so bait elastic that on we are targeting a big fish with this and then we bring the slide in panel hook come out the other side through there's deeper there we go tuck that hook in there there we go Right, so there are my two rods over there in the tripod, pointing out towards Western Supermare over there, the other side of the Bristol Channel. And Aram is here. Aram, yes. say hello. Oh. What are you doing? Sunbathing. You're sunbathing. Mm. Okay, mate. Sounds good. 
What have you got in your rods? Oh, little nod oh, on my little rod. Little nod on my rod. Oh. Little nod on the rod. On what rod, mate? On the big bait. On the big bait? Yeah. A couple of nice nods down. Hopefully, that's a rail of some sort. Sat on it. And what's on that, mate, bait wise? A uh, strip of mackerel and a whole sand deal bound together. Oh, and a pulley dropper. By these fair hands. They look quite dark to me. <laughs> I've been gardening a lot. How have you? Can you tell? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got what? A pulley dropper on one? Yep. And a long range on the other. On the other. Well, I'll put some ragworm. Let's see what happens. Hopefully let's... there's fish here. Yeah, well, we're going to do a while here, aren't we? Yeah, we see are, yeah. Let's see if we get any. Right, so we got here probably just gone high tide. Uh, by the time we set up, it was probably three quarters of an hour down. So it's now about an hour and a half down. Um, nothing yet. Baits have only really been out 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, but we're hopeful. We're hopeful. We've got all night here. Well, we may have all night here. We might move somewhere else. Don't know. Let's see what happens. We've got a proper jerky bite on this sand eel. Come back, come on. What was that? Did you see it? Weird on a whole sand eel and squid. Come on. I do love an ebbing tide. I like an ebbing tide more than a flooding tide. I really do. Let's hope that comes back. Come on. There's possibly something on this. Can I feel it? Feel it, come on. Let's see if there is something on this. Oh, there's a bit of weight there. There's weight there, mate. Yep, we've got something on here. We've got a fish on. Oh, has he snagged me? Ah! I have to let that go slacking on. Come on. Let's get it moving. Oh, there's something on that. Come on. Where is it? Come on. I can feel it. Yes, right, we got it up. And it's a decent fish on here, I think. We've got a half decent fish here. What have we got? Where is it? What have we got? A pelting or a what is it? Is it a crab? Have I caught a crab? I have got an eel, a strap conger. Great, not too happy about that. I thought it was half decent and it was a strangled little strap conger. Come here, mate. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we are. Tiny little strap conger. Barely a pound. I don't want to catch him in the day. 
Let's get him back. Well, it's the first fish. Never know, in darkness they might get 10 times bigger. So let's get him back in here. There he goes. Off you go, mate. See you later. Look, look all this. Fishing line, that 50 pound fishing line. Yep. Right, well, let's get this back out. That is the mess that that conger has made of that rig. Let's see if I can salvage it. If not, new rig goes on there. Look at this honeycomb tiffin from the little, uh, what is it? What would you say is a restaurant, bakery, cake shop, tea shop? The park, national park shop, yeah. National park shop at Porth Ke Ke Kelly. Oh, mm. these look amazing. Mm, they are. And we've got two more for later. <laughs> it is extremely snaggy here, very snaggy. So I think we have come to the decision that we're going to move somewhere before it gets dark. So I think we're going to go on Friars Rock and fish eastways onto the cleaner ground. That's just the other side of Barry. Well, it is in Barry. So we're going to go there. We're going to slowly pack up, not in a rush. And we're going to get over there, get our gear there, set up for the night. So let's get going. Aram's not happy. Look at him packing his gear up. Right, so rod number one is packed up. Now I've got to try and get this one in without snagging it. And this tide has dropped a long way. So I'm not going to re reel it yet until I get to the edge. Then I'm going to try and give it a quick strike and pull it up over these rocks. Let's see. Very rough ground here. See if I can get this in. One, two, three, go. Right, yeah, we've got it up moving. Let's get it moving quick. Should have tightened that drag. Alright, we've got that in. That's coming. There we are, lovely jubbly. Well, the last time we spoke to you, it was daylight. It's now what? 10 o'clock? We've changed country, that's right, we have changed country. We are now in England, we are now on the south coast, and we've decided to go to Wales. To Wales? <laughs> we, that doesn't even make sense, I'm tired. We're at Chesil Beach, we're at Chesil Beach, Weymouth. Um, just going out there look, see how busy it is. Not busy at all. So we're going to get the shelter, get all our gear, get back up there. Fishes. We are getting ready to put bait out. Well, Aram's actually put his bait out. He's still got his bait wrapped on from Porth Kelly where he was fishing. So he's just put that one back out. And I am just about to put rigs on my rods. Same two rods. I'm going to put a big bait out with a pulley dropper rig. Um, probably a squid and fish cocktail. I don't know what yet. And the other one, I'm going to put a tulip flapper with some ragworm on. See if there's anything about. And we're going to give it a bit, see how it fishes. And that will all uh, govern when we have a doze tonight. And uh, when we don't. So if there's a bit of action, we're obviously going to fish through the action. If there's not, we're probably going to have a sleep. Oh, that's dark. That's fed up. Right. Anyway, I'll get set up get cast out what i've got is a bit of sardine i'm going to try that and i'm going to try sardine and squid wrapped together and then what i'm going to do is clip it there it is there so what i'm going to do is then clip it onto the pulley dropper rig here go and clip it onto my rod and get that cast out. I don't know what for, I don't know what I'm hoping for. 
don't know, uh, rays maybe, blonde ray, don't know what they tend to take. Um, I just don't know. This is ready to cast. So let's get this out. Into Chesil Beach. I'm going to go one o'clock with this, I think. Don't know where it's gone, to be perfectly honest, but uh, it's out there. There we go. Let's go a little bit of a pull on that. Right, we're tight to that. Bring that round to the top. There we are. Always like to have the uh, roller for the bail arm there at the top. So it's not that angle to the first guide. So that gives it a free run through there. Something takes that. That's set up. All right, on the other rod, I'm going to get two at clip rig. No, I'm not. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go with three hook clipped boom and put some small rag on it let's get that on now right so i think aram's on a clipped rig i am going on a boom rig and i'm putting three bits of rag on each or one bit of rag this one's bloody turned inside out lovely I'm hoping they're bream bites. We might be able to get a few bream in tonight. So let's get this on the hook. Like so. Two. Three. Right, free rag on there. Clip this up from the bottom. First one's clipped. Second one clips down. Like so. Third boom clips down onto that. There we go. Three booms clipped down. So let's get that out. We've got bites straight away on the worm. Let's see what this is. Well, Aaron's just had a really good bite on the worm. I was setting mine up. And he's what we're flying over. Only been out, what? Five minutes? Right, shout me, mate, when he goes. Done. Sam's just brought that rigging five minutes later. First fish, mate, you're chuffed to bits, in you? I'm absolutely over the Look moon. Look at that. Mate. They all count, mate. They all count. A pelting. A little pelting. Not a very colourful one, to be honest. No. Quite, a, quite a boring pelting. Yeah. Especially compared to the ones I get at Sam Ho, yeah. which are bright purple. That's but uh, back, he's going back, mate. I won't pull you down to watch that. Well done. Yep, we got a fish on here. Oh, there is a fish. Oh no. Have a guess what I've got. Pelting. Another pelting. Uh, there we go. Pelting each. We're going to have a pelting match, I think. Let's get him unhooked and get him back. Pounds into a monster. How big is your monster, mate? Who is he? A double header, you are lucky! Pouting King's living up to his name! Look at that! Well done, mate! 
made your journey, that has, hasn't it? <laughs> Another pouting, probably. You've got one on, yeah. I think this one's on. Maybe they'll bugger off as the tide gets in a bit. Oh, Aram's going for the 23 pound UK record bass. Right, I've just baited up the boom rig again and this big rod is doing something odd. Slow pulls round. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Let's get this other rod out, see what this does. But there's something, there's definitely something on that bait. about, feel it, whatever it is. Where is it? Can't be far out now. Where is it? A bit light now. Gone on here. Oh, it's gone. Whatever it was went there. Did it? Oh, oh, there's one on there. One pouting. Lovely. Well, I've just put this rig in and two of the snoots are off and I've just thought, oh, I wonder if it's spider crab. And I wonder if spider crab are on the other bait as well. That won't be good if it is. Right, so it's about quarter to four. I've tried to have a little doze, kip, but it's freezing, it really is cold. So, oh, barely had an hour, if that, I don't think. So I've just put a squid out, and within five minutes, bang, 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 bang. But I've missed it, the squid come back non-existent, so I've just put another one out. Now, and hopefully, something will happen, but it's cold, it's very cold. This is not the August morning I was expecting. Anyway, let's see if we get something. Well, let's see if I've got this. First fish on worm of the morning. Not a bad buy, but I think I might have lost him. I think I might have lost him. Nice bite then. Better buy it. Come on, come back. There we go. Something's bouncing around. Let's see if I can feel it before I strike this time. Yeah, we got something here. Where have we? Yeah, we have. We got something here. What is this? Let's 
see what we've got here. Oh, don't come off again. What have we got? Might be a pouting. Oh, it's gone very slack again. Have I lost him? Have I lost it again? Whatever this is, I don't feel like it's fighting anymore. Lost it again! Well, that was another disastrous session. Aaron, have you enjoyed it? Loved it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Every single minute. What? Uh, there was about seven hours of driving. Yeah, three pounds in and a strap conga. I had three pounds in a strap conga. <laughs> it's a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> Not good at all. My sleeping bag was warm, though. Was yours? You never sleep in bag. Oh, that was a mistake. It was a little it? bit cold. <laughs> a little bit cold. That's why I was fishing most of the night. Anyway, we are going to pack up in a minute. I think, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Ten minutes. And then we're, what are we doing? Get some breakfast somewhere. Oh, I think it's McDonald's. Let's go. Right. Till next time. Tight lines.